Hey guys, it's me, Alex, and today I'm so excited to be sharing this lip art video with you all. This is my entry for the NYX Cosmetics Face Awards. So let's hop right into this. So as you can see, I prep my lips with a lip oil. It's actually a face oil, but I use it for my lips. It hydrates and moisturizes them so well. And then I went in with NYX's Jumbo Pencil in Milk, which is a staple. Seriously, it helps any eyeshadow, any like, well, body paint pop so well. So as you can see, I'm just placing color down. These are water activated body paints. I went in with orange. I should have went in with yellow first, but whatever, it is what it is. And then I went in with the yellow on top of the orange. This lip art has a lot of placement, just trying to get all the colors to ombre very nicely. It's kind of hard to do that sometimes. And trust me, this was not my first attempt at this lip art. I think I did it like three times. So don't worry if you fail, it's okay to fail. Just move along and try again. As you can see, I'm going in with a red now and I'm just tapping it with my fingers. I use very tiny brushes, but sometimes I like to go in with my finger to kind of blend and mesh everything together. And the motion I'm going isn't a swiping motion at all, it's little taps. I'm just tapping the color in. I don't wanna swipe because it might move the colors around in a way I don't want it, and it might give like a streaking look. So tapping works great. I went in and set everything with powder because, you know, water activated body paints in your mouth isn't the best idea all the time because saliva is water, so yeah. And once I was done with the ombre and setting everything, I went in with a black liner and I started drawing the outline of like the monarch butterfly wings, you know what I mean? I hope you know what I mean. <laughs> Ignore the little flicks I did. I thought I wanted to do a flick and do like pointy lips, but yeah, nah, didn't work. I wasn't feeling it. So I went in with a normal lip shape. I'm just looking at a reference picture for a majority of this, like just a regular monarch butterfly. And I'm just kind of feeling inspired and doing a lot of like the lines in the butterfly wings. That's all I'm doing here. To do lines on your lips is sometimes hard just because your lips are, well, it's a hard place to draw on, but you know, it's just, it's hard to get very detailed things on your lips. Having a steady hand is great. So putting your pinky down on your chin works great or, you know, not breathing works also. You can also just say a little prayer and hope it works for the best. Sometimes also moving your head instead of your hand to get a line works great too. So while adding the black lines, I'm making sure none of them look exactly identical. The left side doesn't look like the right side. There's little tiny flaws in everything. And I'm just adding white dots again, not the same way how I did on the other side. And I'm just placing them in like a cluster and then like going in big dots, tiny dots, just all random. And this is what happens when you don't look at your monitor. And this is why I didn't show you what happened to the other side. Doing lip art is so hard to record sometimes. So you could stop there. It's gorgeous, but no glitter. Glitter is life. So this NYX Cosmetics glitter in ice is, ugh, it's life, it's breathtaking. I'm just placing it everywhere. Usually you would match your glitter to the color underneath, but I really like the green with the orange. And then I added a nice thick gloss to really make that glitter stand out. I hope you guys learned something new about lip arts and I hope you guys give it a try. Lip arts are so fun if you have patience. And I will see you guys next week. Thank you for watching. Love you guys.